In this video, I'm going to be talking about the premium solar panel options available throughout 2022. In the last three years, we have seen a ton of development with the solar panel options on the market. So the first panel I want to talk to is the A and the X series from SunPower. So SunPower has had the most efficient solar panel on the market for quite a while. Their A series and their X series is at 22.5% efficiency. Their A series is more for the residential market. X series is more for commercial. So the A series is rated at 425 watts, about 40 inches wide, and it's 72 inches tall. So a little bit bigger, and that is because it's a 66 cell panel. So what a lot of manufacturers are doing is they're adding another row. So instead of having 10 rows of six, you now have 11 rows of six for 66 cells on a panel. They're about six, seven inches taller, going from say a 65, 66 inch panel to more like a 70 to 72 inch panel. And that's pretty standard. A few things to know about SunPower. SunPower is very exclusive and they try to provide the full package. This panel does come with a micro inverter on the back of it. If you want that panel, you're more or less buying the whole package. It's not necessarily something that you can buy and then pick and choose who installs it and what other um, products come with it. For 2022, it is the most efficient solar panel on the market. The next panel I want to talk about is from LG. This panel is 440 watts, which is really high. But if you look at the efficiency, it's coming in at 22.1%. So it's higher wattage than sun power, but it's lower efficiency, which means it's bigger. So it is a 66 cell panel like sun powers, but it, the dimensions are a little bit bigger. 41 inches wide and 75 inches tall. It is similar to sun power where all of the silver wires are on the back of the panel so they are not visible. This gives a bump in efficiency um, and then it also looks better. Both of these panels do come in black and white and the black version of these panels looks fantastic. I think sun power and LG makes the highest quality, best looking panel out there. And then like I said, Sun Power is very exclusive. So if you don't want to go with the whole Sun Power installation and their package, LG is gonna be the second best option. Why we're talking about LG, let's talk about Tesla. Tesla just announced a new panel and it's 420 to 430 watts. This panel looks like it is manufactured by LG. Looking at the spec sheet, it's rated at 19.3 to 19.8% efficiency. So if we're seeing 430 watts, but 19% efficiency, what's the catch? You can go ahead and look at the dimensions and this panel is 49 inches by 82 inches. So about nine inches wider and about 10 inches taller. Honestly, if it wasn't ma if it wasn't manufactured by LG and um, Tesla wasn't marketing it, this panel wouldn't belong in this video or on this list. Some benefits of this panel though, it does come with the frame that allows it to be mounted using Tesla's racking. A lot of people really like this look where it has a trim piece, um, sometimes referred to as a skirt, that encases the whole system, um, keeps the birds out, makes it look really clean. And so that is with the whole package with these um, uh, Tesla panels. They are only made in black. They look really good. If you have a dark roof, they really blend in. It's really bittersweet to talk about Tesla because Tesla does the best at marketing products. But when you look at the specs, a lot of times it's really good marketing and just kind of average product. The next panel I want to talk about is made by REC. They have their Alpha product line. It is a 380 watt panel and it is rated at 21.7% efficiency. Something that's unique to this panel is the temperature coefficient. Solar panels, as they get hot, they produce less power. REC has a specific type of cell that they use on their panels that is able to be more efficient at hotter temperatures. It has a really strong frame that's reinforced on the back. The panel is 40 inches by 67. So it is a lower wattage. We're not quite above 400, we're at 380, but it is, you know, five to 15 inches shorter than some of the other options that we have talked about. REC is making a 
big push that their new generation of panels are lead free and they're ROHS compliant. So they're trying to reduce the amount of toxic chemicals that are in the panels and make them more recyclable and better for the environment. It's hard to create a very efficient quality product and to keep the cost down and be cost competitive. And then on top of that, make a product that's recyclable and is more environmentally friendly. So I'm um, just a huge shout out to them. I, I don't see any other manufacturers pushing for this as hard as they are. And so that alone, if you're looking at solar for the environmental reasons, getting one of these new panels from REC is a um, really good way to go. So one panel I didn't include on my review for 2021 was the panel from Silfab. And Silfab makes a product line called the Elite. And this is a product I never heard about. So I reached out to them, got some information, and I want to include it in the review. So they have a panel that's at rated at 380 watts, 21.4% efficient, and it's all black and it looks fantastic and it's advertised as made in America. A lot of people like to support local made products if you live in the United States. That's a huge selling point for their product. Later this year they are releasing a higher wattage panel and it's gonna be somewhere around 420 to 430 watts. They are changing the form factor a little bit and making the panel wider, um, but it being up above 400 watts is a huge milestone for manufacturers. So the last manufacturer I wanna talk about is Solaria. So Solaria is a newer solar panel manufacturer and they put out a product that is really unique. And what they have done is they've taken the, um, the cells and they've chopped them up and then slid them together and made it look as if it's just one big cell. So it's a black panel, it has really thin silver lines on it, and their new one that's released this year is rated at 430 watts and just over 20% efficiency. I don't have the exact specs on it because it hasn't been released yet, but that is a big bump over their last panel that was rated at just over 400, 400 or a little over 400 watts. Other than the Tesla panel, it is the least efficient panel on this list of premium panels. But I have to say, I've installed these panels and I looked at the data to see the actual power that has been produced by these panels and they compete with the best and it has to do with how the panel is actually arranged they have a better tolerance for shading and if you have areas where there's lots of trees or snow or other factors the solar panel can produce more power in environments where there's partial shading i also have to say it behind the LG and SunPower panels that are black, it is the best looking panel option out there.